But I don't know. 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 Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions unit. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And he follows on Instagram and Twitter for juicy content. Asian squad. Yep. Shame. You know Shame. That story. You know that story? You need to look up a story Shame. about what happened with uh, 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 Lena Headey's nipple. Don't look up on the internet Lena Headey's nipple. <laughs> no. Do not do it that. It was on The Tonight Show, to be clear. So it's Lena Headey. Shame on Jimmy Fallon. Don't look up Lena Headey's nipple. Yeah, don't look up Lena Headey's nipple. Uh, anyways. Why, why are you so cautionary about that? Have you actually done that? And no, I'm just, that, would, that would pull up bad things on the internet. It really probably would. Uh, but uh, today we were doing a movie review of uh, a Tamil, Tamil film. Uh, 101st, not Tamil film. Yeah, I don't know if it's out. I don't know when this is coming out, but it's over 100. It's over 100. We're in the hundreds now. We're big time. Um, but uh, first, Danush film. Uh, wanted to get to him, obviously, because, you know, he's one of the biggest stars in the Tamil industry. Yep. And uh, so I did a poll. Uh, I think I did it on, on all the platforms. Uh, and uh, Bharat Chennai is one, but it's also been requested a ton. You did, I heard you say, mm -hmm. you did a poll in platforms. Really? Yeah, poll dancing in platforms. So yeah, you see Corbin do that? That's usually how you do it. You do that, PewDiePie will think you're gay again. <laughs> PewDiePie already thinks I'm gay. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is our, I want to say third, fourth Tamil film? I think it's our third. Third or fourth Tamil yeah. film. Uh, directed by, say his name for me, Rick. I, forgive me if I butcher your name, sir. Uh, Vetri Maran. He wrote it, directed, produced it, along with Danush. Uh, produced this as well. And then it's starring uh, just a thousand other people. Right. Uh, including our mustache oh guy from uh, Family Man, um, who we also saw in that other film. Um, this, what, I can't ever pronounce that name ever again. Oh, yeah, but no. That one. Uh, <laughs> Uludavaro Kandanan. Which was a Kannada film. Yes. This is a Tamil film. Yes. And then Family Man was Hindi. Yes. Multi-talented man. Uh, but oh, yes, this is a 2008 film, um, a gangster thriller um, style film, I guess would be the correct way. Gangster. Gangster film. I think it's the film. correct genre to place it in. Spoiler review. That's just how we do things, guys. Uh, if, you, if you like to be spoiled, continue watching. If you don't like to be spoiled, go watch it, come back, and you can... Not be spoiled because that's just how we like to talk about it. And we do, we feel very strongly about that. If you've been around at all for a while, you'll recognize that we want the movie to tell the story. We don't want spoilers, but if you've seen it, watch on. And if you don't care about having the story ruined for you, well, well then whatever. more power to you. Weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, any Rick, initial thoughts? Uh, I didn't yeah, write, I actually, I didn't write a paragraph. Mm -hmm. And the reason I didn't write a paragraph was because there, I, I didn't like it very much. Mm -hmm. And because I didn't like it very much, it doesn't benefit anybody if I just nitpick and say what I don't like. Mm -hmm. I am going to say some of the things that I felt could have been improved, but on the whole, I just, I just really didn't like it that much. Interesting. Yeah. No, I did. I, I enjoyed it, but I can see because it, it is very confusing. Uh, yeah. Well, especially, it, it's also much more difficult for us to watch this film than it is for you, especially if you're a Tamil speaker. Hugely. Uh, because one, I think Tamil people, I think we've experienced this with every single Tamil film we've ever watched. They speak really fast. Really fast. They, they're very fast speaking people. Yeah. Uh, not their fault at all. <laughs> uh, but since we are English speakers and we have to read the subs, the subs go like really, really fast. And so you're trying to soak in all this information and it's hard for you to See everything you can't. Yeah, at that exactly. at that speed, especially. And I had texted you early on. Mm -hmm. um, for, there was a part for me where uh, mm -hmm. the editing clips, the director for the majority of the film. But I was 45, 50 minutes into it and sent a text to Corbin and said he was halfway through. Mm -hmm. And I said, are, "Are am I going to have to watch edits happen every three seconds for all three hours of this film?" And he said. Yeah, I really haven't noticed that it doesn't bother me that much, but he does like quick panic. So of course it doesn't bother you that much. Yeah, it did bother me that much. Yeah, uh, it bothered me a lot for a lot of reasons. But to get back to what you were saying in regard to the language and the speed, mm -hmm. um, the, the, there was a line that he says, uh, but, 
Danush? Yeah. At, at, toward the end. Was it Danush who said it? Anu, Anubu? Uh, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, so the line was this. You don't understand our dialect. Yeah, how will you understand? It was the news, yeah. Dinesh. You don't understand our dialect. How will you understand our lives? Mm -hmm. And I do think, it, it's why I, I, it's, this is, I don't believe this was intended to be or can have a universal international audience because it is so rooted and grounded in things that are culturally mm -hmm. Tamil in nature. Uh, everything from what it would mean to obviously have the horror of a guy giving a girl a kiss in the back of the house during a movie in the house and yeah. now she's the slut of the village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wouldn't happen in a, most places that I frequent and know. And I'm not, I'm just saying that lack of being able to relate to that aspect of the story, I really felt distanced. I really felt like the editing had nothing to do congruently with what was going on with the storytelling or even the settings. Like in prison, time stands still, but the editing clip was as if we were watching Fast and Furious. So I, I just... But that, again, that's my own aesthetic. There's probably millions of people, most especially Tamil-speaking Indians, who love the film. And there weren't blaring uh, horrors with any of the acting. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like I was watching acting and going, oh my goodness, this is brutal. But the, for me, there also wasn't anything that was like, stand out, I'm really enjoying this. I had to force myself to get to, to the end. Gotcha. No, I, I actually enjoyed this film. There are some, I, I do understand the, <laughs> The, the confusion part of it and the, the quick cuts, um, even though I enjoyed that. Yeah, it gave me low level anxiety. <laughs> I didn't maybe be in aviation. That, that, kind, of, that kind of just worked. That's exactly what Imtrani yeah. said that you probably didn't yeah. phase you no, at all. No, it didn't. I'm yeah. like, eh, cool. Yeah. I actually thought it helped move the story along and helped you keep you interested because it kept going different places. And once again, it might be my ADD. I don't know. Um, but I, I, was, I was pretty invested. It, it was difficult at times, especially towards the beginning, to figure out who all these people are. But also, that's, that's a common theme with gangster films. That's oh, usually true. how they do. You, you, there's and a you bunch of players. With them. You don't connect with them until much, they, much later. And usually they kill them off pretty quickly. Correct. They did that in this as well. Yeah. Um, and so I actually, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I was interested. Uh, it is long, for sure, <laughs> but the original cut was five and a half hours long. <laughs> but this is also intended to be a trilogy. Oh, um, so and I did hear a like rumor. Like gangs. Yeah. Okay. But I did hear a rumor that they are thinking about making the second part into a web series. Okay. Uh, which might make it a little more digestible for us in terms of if you're going to do that length, make it like 45 minute segments. Well, I hope they segments. do that for other reasons, too, because most gangster films, like, we can get into this, we do it all the time, until India changes and we don't have a censorship board yeah. and you actually have a rating system. But the blurring of men's genitals, just don't, don't film it that way, then. Yeah. It's just flat out. I don't want to get off on a soapbox about it, but yeah. we're, on, we're on the same soapbox. Yeah, and I, I, I did want there to be more gore in a gangster film, uh, but that's just, well, once yeah, again, just, just believable. Yeah, it's just my preference but i also enjoyed a lot of the moments as well like the tent scene when the when uh, danush stabbed that guy in the back i really enjoyed that entire the way they choreographed it all uh, i thought it was really interesting and really uh well done a lot of slow-mo fight um but that's what most of the fights were uh was slow-mo fights um and so i, I really enjoyed the, that aspect of it uh, there was there wasn't really any glaring problems in it for me outside of it was a little long and then I just, I wish there was more like, um, gory mm. just cause it's when, whenever I see, it's like when I see, um, uh, something about like, if something here is in Compton and you're not showing, you're not like people aren't like cussing every single other word. Right. That's not realistic. Right. I, I if you're stabbing somebody, I want to see the blood. I just like realism like that, but I can talk about, I thought Danush did a phenomenal job. Uh, I liked him a lot. Uh, for my first time seeing him. I thought he was very subtle. He was a very subtle actor. Did you not agree? There wasn't just any, there wasn't anything that impressed me deeply. Mm. Uh, everything for me, as far as the acting from everybody was, was fine. There wasn't anything where I was riveted mm. or felt or engrossed. I, I had to force myself. Even the women? Like the, they were fine. The, 
Danusha's girlfriend, and then obviously they, I forget his the character's name, the one that they all killed, that his friends right, killed. Right. His girlfriend, who ended up being the orchestrator of everything. Right, right, which that is one thing that I thought, when it happened, I thought, ah, that's a nice twist. Yeah, I thought she did very well as well. Um, but and then, but I, 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 the only reason I kept watching, if we weren't going to do a review, mm -hmm. I did this because we were going to review this and Stupid Babies deserve me to go to the end of the film. Mm -hmm. If I had been watching this on my own, at the 45 minute mark, mm -hmm. maybe earlier, yeah. I would have been out. Really? Yeah, I just, I didn't connect with anybody. I felt the editing was not just... Uh, like I said what it was, but it also didn't fit contextually. I, th I thought some scoring choices were strange. And I'm willing to, I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not just gonna carte blanche say, universally this is an awful movie and nobody would like it. Mm -hmm. There may be millions of people who like it. It's just in no way, shape, or form anything that I, I was like, yeah. okay. You didn't like the score? I thought, I, the, I thought the score was weird in places. I, I didn't, loved it. it. Oh, no, I, no, I loved it. I loved the weird choices. And but I, I didn't feel like it was intentional weirdness. I felt like it was just oh, incongruent. No, I did. I thought it was intentional. Um, and also, I loved... It was kind of the way they did the musical numbers in this one. It was mm -hmm. very... Um, um, why am I forgetting his name? Everybody, uh, we interviewed him. He's our favorite. Um, no, Wasa No, Siddiqui? no, the director. Um... Anya Akashio. I don't know why I forgot his name for a second. Anyway, <laughs> you know, because he said the way he does musical numbers is it's either somebody singing right. or it's background. Right. Um, and that, that's what I felt because like with the whole wedding that they had and mm -hmm. the dance, I thought that was really quirky and unique the way that the, the dancers were dancing all crazy. Um, I thought that was really cool and enjoyable. So I... Maybe it's just because my ADD brain works with this style of film and the fact that there's something different happening and they're doing something weird every single other frame. Uh, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that part of it a lot. Um, I understand. I, when I was watching it, I was like, I'm pretty sure Rick's not going to like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know, we have different styles. And it, that, it, really, it really, for me, and, and again, like in, in Johnny said, she said, Corbin's probably going to like it based on what I was describing to her. Mm -hmm. And it, I really do believe this is one of those films. And I don't believe this with all films. There are some films that are just flat out bad. And if you say they're good, yeah. you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> we, we agree about that. Yeah. But we also agree to fight over things where we're both like, mm -hmm. right? This one, I, it's, for me, it's a palatableness on a myriad of levels, levels where, like if you were eating food that you were tasting in India, uh -huh. I would taste something and think, doesn't float my boat. And you'd be like, oh, I could eat that all day. Yeah. You could eat it all day. Yeah, I do agree because, like, in terms of gangster films, I I didn't think there was anything new that came out of it. Like, mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't like um, like it's not it's not up there with Gangs of Wasabur for me, uh, for sure. Um, I think that's a that's a much higher um, gangster film. And like I said, I I would put that up against Godfather in terms of I would the too. greatness Godfather of that film. Godfather, Goodfellas, Scarface. Um, but I, I, this is definitely a, a different take on it. It was obviously, it's a different director. Obviously, that Andre Kashio, he likes to sit, and, and uh, which is obviously something that we both love. Um, but this is obviously as well. I think the biggest hurdle uh, for any non-Tamil speaker is the subtitles um, that you're going to struggle with because one, you don't know if they're translated correctly, right? Which is why I can't. It's so difficult to cr critique a script. <laughs> Um, and also, they speak very, very fast. And so you can't appreciate everything else going on the screen that the director wants you to see. Right. When, when you're just, which, oh, oh crap, I missed that one. Uh, which, which is another disconnect for me. Mm -hmm. Like the editing speed, they were speaking so fast. I, I remember putting in my notes that, would someone please breathe and think before they speak? Which, that's my preference. Mm -hmm. It also, to me, lends toward a greater dramatic element. Not all the time. There are parts where it should be witty repartee and it's going fast. Mm -hmm. But to have every dialogue just be bam, 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 bam. And that may be exactly the way I think that's they, they talk. Speak. Yeah. That, may be, that may be exactly the way things happen. I think they speak. Right, and they speak exactly. Over each other. And again, for me, I really think this boils down to that level of... Because again, there were no blaring artistic things where I felt... Mm -hmm. I had differences of opinion, but I didn't see anything where I went, okay, that's artistically off. Yeah. Continuity or yeah. whatever. This was one of those things where you try something from India, and some people go, oh, I love that, I could eat it all day. And another person goes, ooh, I can't believe you like to eat that. Yeah. If you love eating that, more power to you, enjoy it. For me, it just it yeah. didn't, flo didn't float my boat. That's very interesting. Um, because, yeah, like I, 
obviously, and I watched it with my wife, and I think she was really enjoying it as well. The, obviously, two hour forty five is hard to watch with a eight month old. <laughs> so it was. And we definitely watched it in parts. <laughs> like, yeah, ten minutes here, five minutes there, depending on the room he wanted to be in at that moment. Um, but uh, whenever I was watching it, because it, it also was different as well, because three fourths the way in, they switched because Danush was telling his girlfriend mm -hmm. basically where it all came from, and that's when the the story about the the girlfriend of that guy that the friends killed. I don't know their names because it's, yeah, it's so hard many to characters. I'm sorry to remember the name. Um, but the guy that all the friends killed. Um, when they switched to him, they stayed on him for a good, it felt like 30 minutes. Yeah, I was going to like, oh, where's the noosh? Where? Yeah, and they also, to his credit, I did recognize, if any of you have been writing into the comments, the editing um, clips did spread out in the second half. Mm -hmm. He did have some long, he did have shots, some longer dragger right. shots in yeah. the second second half, which did help me. I lost that low level anxiety I was feeling. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> cool. Uh, but yeah, no. So, but I was I was wondering. I was like, what? What just happened? But right. also that happened in Godfather as well. Like, you know, they yeah, they, they and go, they go on tangents. Of and that was the characters. other thing I liked. We've talked about this before in films where they don't feel like they have to give you something linear. Mm -hmm. I will give that as that is something I could say I, yeah, I they, like. They had I think a lot of jokes. Eighty seven, uh, something in the nineties, two thousand, I think two thousand four. Yeah, there was a lot of jumps, which also deals with the confusion sometimes. But I thought he did a good job, the director, to kind of let you know because obviously Danush had a, a mullet for a while. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is funny. And I, all I got is this script has got to be what. 480 pages Probably. long. Probably. It's heavy dialogue. Oh, yeah. It's a heavy dialogue film. <laughs> it's a heavy dialogue film. <laughs> uh, but I thought that I enjoyed all the cuts because that, that helped a, a long film, which was apparently five and a half hours. Of right, reason. right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's long. I mean, Gangs of Wasps technically that. They just cut it in two parts. Right. Um, maybe maybe Indians just don't well, know how to tell gangster and, stories in in short amount of time. And, and well, and it's I a think complicated that, story. It is a complicated story, and I think most people expect. Thank you, Martin Scorsese, a, a gangster film to be long, to be yeah. a two and a half hour, three hour. There's run. a lot of moving parts. And yeah, there really are. And and uh, the uh, I forgot the one on the Martin Scorsese thing. I was just gonna say something else about. Oh, that's what it was. The uh, it may have felt a little bit longer. I mean, for you versus me. For me, it felt long because I wasn't enjoying it. Yeah. For you, I think it may have felt longer mm -hmm. because. This is the first three-hour one we've seen in a long time. That's true. It's been a while. It had been a while since yeah. we'd seen a really long one. Yep. Um, but overall, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it's a really good film, especially... I mean, I know all people from Tamil have seen it, of course. Yeah. Your Danusha is probably the biggest star. Exactly. I would love to see another one of his films. I absolutely want um, to. Especially because, obviously, we've seen a bunch of his trailers. Um, give us a recommendation for his next film. Uh, that we should watch uh, to get more into him. Sha I know I don't know if it's a good film. You guys can tell. Shamatab, uh, remember that one with him, yes. him and Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan. I know he produces a ton. We've seen a bunch of independent a lot stuff, of that, he stuff produced. that he produced. Um, so and he produced this as well. No, and I it would. It looks like he's an actor that cares about the uh, the quality, uh, especially. I mean, he's Tamil, so. We're not saying this is obviously, I think it's a really good film. Rick didn't enjoy it, but like we said, it's just because it's a different style that he didn't enjoy. Yep. But I feel like he's a, an artist that cares about the quality of his film. Like, I don't think he'll, tell me if I'm wrong, gonna come out with like a war. Right, I'd be, no. I'd be surprised if, if yeah. yeah, from what I've and seen. I, and I would give that as a credit as well, because there's sometimes I watch a film and it's funny because we liked War because we knew going in what yeah. we were going to get. You, you, you had great action. Yeah. We, we, knew, we knew this the was going to be popcorn bad. action and the acting and story is going to be awful. That's <laughs> fine. Show us. Just blow them up. Yeah. Uh, this, to its credit, didn't take the route of just trying to be a bang bang, shoot him up. No, it was actually, there I wasn't could, very much violence. I could tell that what they were attempting to do, and for, for me that didn't hit it, but again, that's just for me, that what they were doing was a very serious undertaking, and I agree with you. Yeah. I would say, based on what we've heard from Stupid Babies, that Danush cares very much about the, the quality of what he's what he's. Give doing. us a recommendation of something that you think Rick would enjoy. Uh, hopefully I would enjoy it as well. Hopefully it's not like a adept us. Uh... <laughs> Because that would bother me if Danush was in depth. Yeah, for me, the uh, not to you know beat a dead horse. Sorry to coin that phrase if that's offensive to you. Uh, 
for me, my biggest disconnects were the incongruency of the editing choices and that happening so frequently every three seconds for the totality of the first half. Mm -hmm. The secondary aspect of, and this wasn't as troublesome, having to follow the dialogue because it was so rapid throughout. I don't mind moments of rapidity, yeah. but throughout. And then third, I didn't, um, it was a hard time empathizing with characters facing life situations and cultural situations so distant from my own. And uh, there's nothing you can really do about that. You can't fake that you can relate to that. Yeah. And I don't want to judge that because it's so, it's just so far removed from me. Mm -hmm. So. And I disagree with him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let us know the next Danush film. Let us know the next Tamil film we should watch uh, down below, please. Uh, and upvote it so I can see it. And yeah. so we can get this all sorted out. And um, Danush. Papoosh. Danush. 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 Danush, 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 Danush,